So, do they have any plus one arrows, plus two arrows, uh, seeking arrows? Very few plus one arrows. Very few. Like it will be a. You'll need to look like at least two hours to find at least like fifteen plus one arrows. It's thirty arrows you buy in a, a bundle when you buy plus one, wasn't it? Okay, mm. so only only thirty arrows, only one bundle. Thirty right. arrows is thirty arrows. Yeah, uh. and, and I I don't count regular ammunition, but I count the special one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to pay for all the ammunition. Thank you. Mm. No, we still need to pay, but I don't count mundane types. I count definitely the animal, the magical ones, yeah, the special because, ones. If, for instance, I've occasionally just deleted a few gold pieces from my thing because I know that I'm using uh, a couple of dozen arrows every fight. So I know that, you know what I mean? I, I just delete a few gold point coins every now and again. Yeah, okay. Sure. That's, that's very nice. Hmm. I just farted. Oh, that's no. very. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank that. you. We couldn't yeah. live without that knowledge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I so... thought that was the perfect time to introduce <laughs> that. <laughs> you <Dear> God. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways. All right. Well, um, I, I think we should. Prepare for tomorrow, then, boys and girls. Mm. Well, for today, yep. because yep. It's today. could I give stuff like the uh, whip of ants to someone else? What does it do? What? It create create a whip made out of army ants. Oh god, that one! Give it to Genkiro. Exactly, but I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do that. <clears throat> create an army of fire ants? What? No, a whip made of ants. It can become a swarm. You know what? Ew. <laughs> well, I do have a scorpion whip, so... Maybe a fire scorpion whip? Would be cool. No, he meant... A whip of ants. Well, somebody's dying in the city right now. <laughs> oh, God. Not, not right now. Just don't focus on the fucking rolls. That's why you should make them private, because otherwise we're gonna stare at them and wonder what the you're doing. The functions as whip of spiders, except maybe summons, I want you to stare because army ants. paranoia. Maybe nothing's happening. I'm just shitting with you. And any creature you strike with the whip takes swarm damage, as if it were attacked by an army ant swarm. 3d6 damage plus poison and distraction. If you transform transform the whip into an army ant swarm, it has 16 hit points. Okay, yeah. folks, just tell me when you are ready to move I out. Think I'm ready. But just say it's like it's bright morning, like 8 a.m., I guess. Did mm. we get the chance to cast all kinds of spells before the battle? That Probably, I, like, to Genkiro, there was a sending like message. You saw the visage of uh, uh, Asmarius who simply said, I am at the place, I'm waiting. Okay. <laughs> Huh. Um, uh, yeah. In in that case, um, thanks for bringing us. I do need to prepare a bunch of spells before we ritual starts. So, Matt, will I be pretty much indisposed for this fight preparing the ritual? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay, then I will prepare. Shit tons of buffs. Thank you. Mm. Good. Just about to say, that might be great, because... Well, I have... All my spells are all... Like, most of my spells are buffs, as well. Because I'm a summoner, who only... Well, really buffs. like, I could pass... Like, I can pass out, like, stone skins and whatnot. Yes! Ah, oh, great. Be nice. Sorry. Okay, cool. Alright. I, I need to see, if I cast all my spells, how much AC would I have? <laughs> that would be awesome. Fourth level, Death Ward. We probably want some of those. Please. Yeah. Well, I can Let's cast that spontaneously, what? so I, I, I can do that. spare the fly for somebody who needs it. Does Genkira need a fly, just in case? I might. I might need a fly. Yeah, since might. my since my base <laughs> movement speed is shit. Same. Uh, maybe if you want, that maybe prepare one for Ego as well. 
Okay, so I can I'll prepare two flies. Okay. If I cast That's... all of the spells I have, and I send it. I'm in a decent position. I have 46 AC. <laughs> <laughs> Lysander, could you give a fly to me because my land speed is shit. Mm. So I, I, I'm going to do overland flight for me and prepare two flies for you two guys, yeah? Nice, thank you. Yeah. Oh. oh, well, time to move at 20 base speed. Well, no, no, you'll be fine when you, once you're flying, so don't worry now. Uh -huh. Yeah, but that would be Genkiro, me, and uh, what's Martin's, Martin's Ego. buddy? Ego. Anchor me and Ego, that will be three flights. Mm. Oh, you need three? Okay, I'll, I, I, it's all right. I can. Yeah, watch. I just wanted to make sure. Actually, you don't necessarily need to worry about the fly. Fly is nice if you want to move in multiple directions, but do remember we also have haste. At least I can cast haste. Uh, give me haste. That's yes. 50 base do speed. You have, you have haste. In that case, say, I can do three flies instead of my haste. Yep, mm. I have haste. Don't worry. Jai. I yes. I won't prepare haste then. I'll just do three flies so that making sure that everybody's flying. Mm. Oh, what? Well, that... it's just I've got limited number of third level spells, don't I? No, no, no. That's fine. I'm I'm looking at the spell that Zach just. Mm. Oh damn! You, it adds a pretty much plus five. Mm -hmm. To your bleed attacks. The bleed damage does not stack. Yeah, that's but... that's the one thing. However, um, five bleed every round until it dies, basically. I think. Yeah. Or until it's until it heals itself. So basically. But but if it I saves, you just hit it again because it lasts yeah. for eleven minutes. There's actually no save. It's just I hit, they take, uh, bleed. Because the fortitude negates is only if I want to negate it. <clears throat> Anyways, as we are talking about the spells, the question will be like, I guess, somewhere along around midday, like first p.m., you arrive at the around desolated, not desolated plain, the like frozen nothing up from the like here. The question will be where where do you park your flying castle? Well, outside the spells, the explosion range. Yeah, I just about to say, yeah. um, probably a couple of miles outside the explosion. Radius. Yeah, even if, like you guess that even with putting doing the ritual inside the place where the dragon was in the hole, the blast radius still will be like 100 kilometers in each direction, give or take. <laughs> Let's destroy some mountains. Yeah. So I still say also, we do it uh, in the so, uh, so, hole because yeah, of course. Reasons. Yeah, uh, we're gonna also, have a new lake. Also, what will we be fighting? Uh, people, okay. most likely. Twelve of them put up a good fight for that level twenty sorcerer over there. Oh dear. Okay. Good. Who says he's that's what? Who says he's only level twenty sorcerer? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so that's why he's here to help us. Fun oh. fact, out of character, uh, in PC gen, if you're my character, sure, level 20 is a max, but for one class. There's epic <laughs> levels as well. <laughs> Technically, oh, no. but the PC gen doesn't work with them, so I just simply let them thought of something else more interesting. Anyways. I, sh I, I should just oh. try to cast true form on him and see what happens. <laughs> you probably get pretty angry, he, he, get, he gets a will save, and it hits spell resistance, so... Uh, what's the DC? Apparently, uh, his spell resistance isn't that high. It's below 20. If I prepare it as a 5th level spell, 22. And his a will Actually, save? Actually, no, wait. Uh, I can prepare it as a 6th uh, level spell, so 23. And it's a will save? Yes. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, this will save is probably higher than 23. Probably around 30. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what's after you prepare all that stuff, you meet with Asmarius, and what's your like defense plan? How do you position yourselves? Uh, B and A got the front, definitely. Yeah, I'm just standing a little behind them, I suppose. Mm. But are you like in the hole, or are you on the ground, like looking in all directions to see if the if somebody is approaching? 
around the hole, I suppose. Yeah, around dying, the man. hole. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as I guess, like Marie's uh, spellcaster, that helps as Marius in setting up the ritual. I mean, you yep. have. I mean, oh, wait. I should praise it differently. As Marius helps you because you get the instructions how to proceed. Yep. Okay, is still, that, it takes that... it takes at least two hours to, like, prepare everything. I love how I get to order around a uh, guy that could flick me and kill me. <laughs> yeah, he might Give me have, the He might have, like, half, like, trollingly half menacing. Enjoy it while you can, Mari. Enjoy mm. it while you can. Mm. And... Give me the wrench, apprentice. <laughs> and, yeah, let's just say it's, like... Going into day is going into late afternoon. The sun is slowly setting down because in the far north, of course, day is shorter, and the winter is coming once again. The winter is coming. <sighs> yep. I uh, could guess life bubble. What? It would make it not cold where I'm at. I mean, it's not really like I guess you prevented yourselves like in this area. The cold is not cold enough to do you harm mm. right now. It's the further into the north that can freeze your yeah. soul. Because by now the blessing is gone. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so you position yourself. You really tensely wait those two hours that are preparing the, preparing the ritual. Then you position like everything, make the markings, then put the war horn as a um, sacrifice, then the vial with the soul of a lich or demi lich it was. Lich. Like, the creature to like fuel the ritual lich. to destroy. Nope, nope, it was it was the lich actually. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. He's he's been in that vial for like Five so years. fucking long. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, then like. Uh, the part of the blade in the middle starts glowing. There's like a uh, forming whirlwinds of power going around it. And as Mario says, well, I guess, and you feel, and you know that this is the point when the ritual is starting to stabilize. So from now it's like counting uh, like one minute until it stabilizes. Uh, this is just the like... moment where we start casting spells. <laughs> no, this is the moment when we're defending. Oh crap! So we didn't cast any spells yet. You cast it. Uh, oh, okay. So I'm um, just. I need to put down in chat then what I casted because I I've got casted some mass buffs as well. Three stone skins. Who wants some? Me. Hey. Me and Ego. You might want one. My AC is shit. Actually, my AC is so bad. Everything will hit me. Just give it them the rest. It's damage reduction. Oh, then I no maybe yeah might as well need it. I'm quite close to the enemy. Hmm. All right, well, I'll give it to uh, Igo, uh, Jai, and what you call it? Alti. Yeah. And no, Lysander, you're I so far away. You don't need it. On you. Um... I can cast Spark Skin on you. I have tons of those too. Yeah, just Spark Skin me. <laughs> I will Spark Skin you. Mm. Those right. who get Stone Skin get DR10 Adamantine. For uh, it's 110 damage. Once you take mm -hmm. that, once it cancels out that much, it's gone. Yeah, I don't. I don't need stone skin. I probably won't get hit that much. But I'll, I love. The yeah, bulk. I'm. Pro I'm probably going to need stone skin though. But bulk skin, please. Bulk skin is what plus three natural. Uh, it's not like plus five or six. It is plus four right now, because mm. it's maximum of plus five at twelve. Mm. Uh, haste has already been cast, so I don't need to do that. And it stacks with any natural armor you have. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I've got <coughs> shit tons of those. That's one, two, three, four, five, six spark skins. Everybody gets one. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, how, uh, does anyone need greater invisibility? No. Yes. I'm, I might stick in a banish. In a minute, yeah. Genkira might need it, so he can be yeah. an annoyance. <sighs> giving, Before you vanish, giving, yeah, giving greater uh, this to Genkira. 
Alright. Uh, level 4 spell. Alright, I've got 7 death wards. How many of us are there again? What does, what does death ward do? It's very it valuable. Makes you immune to death effects, um, pretty much. Zensa, Ego, Lysan... Lysander, Genkiro, Mari, uh, Oti, as Mari doesn't need it. I don't mm -hmm. need it either. So I was about to call over. Like, so five? Words. I'm pretty sure you don't, but do you need Death Ward? Yes, please. I mean, Asmarius is like, please. That's Seems what I thought. Yeah, fair. everybody else gets it. Okay, I'm also casting Resistance on everyone because that plus one to saves might actually save your ass. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, anyways. Yeah. And so this we're is all the giant out. list of spells I cast. Okay. So while you're doing that, there's of course like seconds pass. You look around like feeling every muscle in your body like being tense. Even though if you are invisible, like you look eyeing around area around like a hawk being prepared to kill everything that appears uh, before you. But well, one six seconds pass, twelve seconds pass, eighteen seconds pass. 30 seconds pass. Uh, for now, there is nothing. But then, uh, uh, I draw my sword. Genkiro, mm -hmm. uh, before you, like, you already know this is uh, what kind of spell this is ascending one. Uh, this is uh, suddenly before you, even though you are invisible, like 10 feet in front of you, appears a uh, visage of a humanoid creature, cloaked. Uh, their face is hidden behind a mask, and of course on the mask you see a uh, 12 leg spider. And the message is very short and simple, because the sending is only like 25 words or less. Uh, uh, good choice on the time. Enjoy your victory while you can. It will be short-lived. And the visage disappears. Hmm. Ah, seriously? God dang it, guys. I was so that ready was for this as well. So was I. You yeah. know, I knew this was going to happen, just so you know. I was kind of expecting it myself, but I still wanted to fight something. Mm. And, and not only just because the DM told me there was there's most likely not going to be a fight, yeah, but he also so. said at the beginning he would felt lazy today, and then it really feel like having any fights. Mm. Uh, also, who is like at like 15 seconds to mark, uh, who is the closest one to Asmarius? Um, well, I would uh, be by the damn thing, so he'd probably be near me. Yeah. Okay, so I guess only you would hear that. Yeah, I'm guessing I would be second to closest, because I don't want to... I'm not a frontline fighter. <laughs> I mean, is, yeah. uh, I mean, if you try to hear that, then you might give me a perception check. I'm, I'm the furthest. I have no reason only, to hear only, it. Only Mari and Gen Genkiro might have heard it. Mari will hear that because she is like the closest. So, mm. uh, Zach, the message will be for you, and that's the words what he said. Hey, not a shitty roll. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so oh. give me a sec. I'm gonna copy the message also to you, mm, Genkiro. And yeah, after a minute mark, you see that the sword, you cannot see from what it is, it just glows. The sword itself turned into like a, it's only form, swordy form of light. And as Mario says, I think it's a high time for us to uh, scram. Scram. Yes, just to make sure that everything goes as planned, I will sit right here. Really? Yep. It's going to be painful. I know. So as he teleports out, he just winks and says. Uh, well, see you soon. Jo enjoy your resurrection. Mm. And he... I, uh, I just kind of saunter over to everyone and say, 
Everyone, hold on to your butts. We're teleporting out of this place. You know, place. like in the like yeah. movies, there is like a sound of gathering energy, like just before the cannon shoots, and there's like. Mm. A... Yeah, it like, starts. Like, it's seriously, being... go it's... now. Yeah, this it's being. Yeah. To blow I'm, like right, I'm teleporting. Five seconds. Mm. I'm teleporting. Right, you can you hold on to me. If yeah, just holding on, jumping on top of you just to be sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's like it's getting louder and louder. You can see the light, light going from the hole. Okay, and then fine. as you teleported out, I guess I would say at the point when you can enjoy the fireworks. As the sun set down behind the mountain, suddenly the another sun appears. Absolutely mm. massive, ex searing explosion of light sears from the hole and goes straight up into the air, and probably it's like takes form of a mushroom cloud. Mm. Yeah, and Ma and Mari like it was like only flash of light, and then it's nothing. Like because it was so quick, she didn't even feel anything. Yep. I, I, I'd actually completely imagine if I'm standing right next to it, it's probably just going to be light blackness. It's like, oh, I'm here again. Yep. So let's see. But for the rest of it, like, you know, the explosion is just absolutely like searing up, taking for the whole horizon and light. It's like a full day on the winter for several seconds as the light subsides slowly. And now there's a lake that size right there. Mm. And of course there's... I will put something in the in time. Yeah, sure. Mm. And yeah, there is like a... You see that because it was so hot, the ice melted down and there is like a lot of uh, steam also and some kind of water going slowly down into the... into the... Uh, into the bloody... Uh, How do I do private rolls again? Because I'm apparently doing it wrong. Uh, slash GR. Roll. GR. I tried that. Actually, again, slash talk to self. Slash talk to self. Mm. I always use GM roll, where that works for me. Okay, and whisper me... Uh, I, I will. What's the result? <laughs> Uh, let me find the page. Oh god, so he's gonna to go to the entire list of humanoids. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh no, what did you get? Why? <laughs> a purple fish. What? He's a gnome. No, not a gnome, a goblin. You wanted this, man. Yeah, I did not expect this, though. He's a bugbear. What is it? I mean, it's it's not that bad. I think Gnomas were more funny. Probably, but just just the fact of what it is after being a gnome. Ah, mm. yes. Like, you obviously keep in the size category. Yeah. Giant. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually a frost giant now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so it's not genocide anymore. Well, no. well, you see, if I ever roll a 100, it says GM's choice, which mm. doesn't imply that it has to be one of the races on the table. True. Yeah. But, well, maybe next time, Gadget. He'll probably turn you into a pixie or something. Ne next time you'll become a dragon as well. <laughs> Anyways, as you gather up, and I think... Oh, perfectly. That's how I wanted to end at around 10, 10 p.m. Just as you gather around, I guess, at the tower? Mm. Hey, is Asmarius with us? And that's, that's why I'm asking, where do you gather? Like at the entrance. Uh, on the landing platform. Yeah, okay. So yeah, uh, Asmarius like, was already uh, waiting. And he says uh, two things. Well, for one, I'm really happy that this finally is off my chest. I can focus on different things. Uh, on other... Jeez. On other, I... Well, I'm not sure exactly, but I believe 
there might have been a problem back in the city. No, wait, this will be the last thing he says. On the, uh, and the second thing he says that, well, I guess um, we will finish the deal with the uh, city of Yggdrasil. <coughs> and I bet he will want to rest. But, uh, also I thought, but I might give you um, information about somebody that might be useful for you if you're looking for a very old and dedicated uh, crafter. Oh. And oh, who's dear. that? Uh, I believe he never do, really did... No, wait. Uh, think of a name for a titan. <laughs> uh, Titan Insernius. Ah yes. Uh, Emir. It, it will be in Emir, the Thank you. master the of height. master of a Titan Forge. Hmm. Oh, yes. well, it seems like it. He's not currently at his forge, so I will I will show you the way if you want to meet him with him with him and decide what's uh, going on. Alright, uh, but first off, uh, what did you comment on uh, was uh, going to be problematic? Hmm. Uh, yes, one of my birds told me that uh, something, they didn't specify, something uh, happened back in Pinewood while we were here. Uh oh. God damn it, Ronald! Uh oh. Even the most powerful heroes can be at two places at the same time. Uh -oh. Well, they can, but it's a really high level spell. <laughs> <laughs> Which you probably know. What happened to Pinewood? Uh, we will we will find right. out. Next time. On Next time. Record. City on... still exists. Next no. time. Of course. Tales of from like, my D and D adventure. Before, like. The question will be like, let's just, because we might forget that, like, let, oh, I know, uh, that while he's saying that he already appeared along with one of his golems, and golems carries four uh, bags full of gold. And if you are, pr and he says very simply that, here's the payment, I gave the job for four persons of your party, and four shares I shall deliver. In each of these four bags, there is 50,000 gold as as per deal. <sighs> Use it wisely. Whoop, whoop. Speaking of which, I made sure that I was, didn't have any of my magical stuff since I knew it was going to blow up the damn sword. Uh huh, yeah, sure. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so you, you, you didn't lose your equipment, no yeah. problem. Okay. Because that would suck. Anyway, I think I think that pro he speaks about problem in Pinewood, and that will be the like credits roll after that. That's the cliffhanger for this episode. Okay.